Muhammad, a brief description you may be a Christian Protestant, Catholic, Jew, Atheist, or Agnostic, or you may belong to many different religious denominations existing in today's world. You might even be a communist or believe in man's democracy as a rule on earth. Whoever you are and whatever ideological or political beliefs, social habits you may hold, there is no doubt, you must know this man, Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. He was by far the most remarkable man that ever set foot on this earth. He preached a religion, founded a state, built a nation, laid down a moral code, initiated numerous social and political reforms, established a powerful and dynamic society to practice and represent his teachings, and completely revolutionized the worlds of human thought and behavior for all times to come. His name is Muhammad may peace of God be upon him, peace and blessings be upon him, he was born in Arabia in the year 570 C, common era, started his mission of preaching the religion of truth, Islam, submission to one God at the age of 40 and departed from this world at the age of 63. During this short period of 23 years of his prophethood, he changed the complete Arabian Peninsula from paganism, and idolatry to worship of one God, from tribal quarrels and wars to national solidarity and cohesion, from drunkenness and debauchery to sobriety and piety, from lawlessness and anarchy to disciplined living, from utter bankruptcy to the highest standards of moral excellence. Human history has never known such a complete transformation of a people or a place before or since, and imagine all these unbelievable wonders in just over two decades. The world has had its share of great personalities. But these were one-sided figures who distinguished themselves in but one or two fields, such as religious thought or military leadership. The lives and teachings of these great personalities of the world are shrouded during the time. There is so much speculation about the time and place of their birth, the mode and style of their life, the nature and detail of their teachings, and the degree and measure of their success or failure that humanity can't reconstruct accurately the lives and teachings of these men. Not so this man. Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, accomplished so much in such diverse human thought and behavior fields in a whole blaze of human history. Every detail of his private life and public utterances has been accurately documented and faithfully preserved to our day. The authenticity of the preserved records is vouched for not only by the faithful followers but also by his prejudiced critics. Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was a religious teacher, a social reformer, a moral guide, an administrative colossus, a faithful friend, an excellent companion, a devoted husband, a loving father, all in one. No other man in history ever excelled or equaled him in any of these different aspects of life, but it was only for the selfless personality of Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, to achieve such incredible perfection. Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was nothing more or less than a human being. But he was a man with a noble mission, which was to unite humanity on the worship of one and only one God and teach them the way to honest and upright living based on the commands of God. He always described himself as, a servant and messenger of God and so indeed every action of his proclaimed to be. Today after a lapse of 14 centuries, the life and teachings of Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, have survived without the slightest loss, alteration or interpolation. They offer the same undying hope for treating mankind's many ills, which they did when he was alive. This is not a claim of Muhammad's, peace and blessings be upon him, followers, but the inescapable conclusion forced upon by a critical and unbiased history. The least you can do as a thinking and concerned human being is to stop for a moment and ask yourself, could these statements sounding so extraordinary and revolutionary be factual? And supposing they are genuine and you did not know this man Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, or hear about him, isn't it time you responded to this tremendous challenge and put in some effort to know him? It will cost you nothing, but it may prove to be the beginning of an entirely new era in your life. By Eng. Hussein Pasha. We invite you to discover this remarkable man, Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, the like of whom never walked on the face of this earth.